you know what these are? These are baby neem trees. And a while back, well, about a couple of years, I um, had got big branches from my neighbour who was cutting back his neem tree. And um, I was impatient. <laughs> And they didn't grow the way I thought they were going to grow. And so, in frustration, I just put them here. Um, there was loads of leaves there as well. And I just put them under here so that they could break down and didn't think anything of it. And now, as it has broken down and all the seeds, there were like hundreds of seeds, they're growing. The thing that I found with these, um, the neem, when you're growing it from seed, is they don't really like to be disturbed. And so they, the ones that I had grown before and tried to transplant them, I guess I was too rough with them. So they didn't take. Bar two. So actually, let's go and look. Follow me this way, out into the garden again. Again? And this is a creative gardener. That's what you've come along for. I'm so glad you could join me. So, I've got two neem trees that I've managed, three that I've managed to grow from seed. And um, the one that's a real surprise at the moment is the one that's growing back here that I guess I had just placed some of the materials here. So this one's growing. I need to keep it clear so that it's got enough room to grow. Oh, it's moving over a bit. Yeah, it's trying to get the sunlight. So what I need to do is cut back the um, Mexican sunflower here so that it can grow a bit better. But the other two I've got growing is this one it's kind of heavy on this side I've had to battle with the slugs and the snails and you can see that um, the little trail up the tree and uh, they usually eat the leaves it's supposed to be a deterrent for insects but the slugs I guess they, they don't count <laughs> anyway I've got a little bird's nest sitting up in this one but it's they grow yeah, it's kind of growing quite heavy on this side and um, where there would have been other branches with leaves they've got eaten. And look up there. So right at the top there, you should be able to see the bird's nest. Let's see if we can come in a bit for you. You see that up there? I'm so pleased, sorry to come out so fast. Um, I love it when we have uh, birds nest, birds building their nest. They normally build the nest in the mahogany tree. And um, there's actually one here in the pomegranate. It must be a, I think that's probably a um, hummingbird, hummingbird nest. Okay, so the other tree is round here. So this one has had a lot of damage with the slugs and the snails and I've put some kind of pellets around so just to kind of help it recover a bit. But this one's doing quite well. See it there? Now they do grow about 40 feet if you allow them to. And I can show you my neighbour's one. <laughs> Look how tall it is. So he was literally chopping back all the leaves. And I was just like, oh, you know, you can make chew sticks out of the, the branches. And um, so he cut everything he cut back from that tree, he gave it to me. And it was just like, it was a real workout getting the branches. He put them over there, over the over his wall. And I dragged them to literally this this area 
and was cutting them back there's still some remnants there of some of the branches but um it's a good pest deterrent and um it's antibacterial it's got antibacterial properties and also in the branches as well so some in some places they use the um, branches as chew sticks and um like, you know to clean teeth i know in nigeria they sell you can buy these online even on amazon i've seen it but that's the name it's a beautiful tree so i'm hoping to be able to pot up the ones that are growing see this again has had a lot of damage from the slugs um, but it's it's managing to come back so I'm pleased about that and it's growing it's more kind of balanced in its shape and it's not kind of leaning over um, so I might need to cut back some of the other one but that's the neem and as I say I'm hoping to pot up the small ones we'll just walk back and have another look at the small ones now if you've got any advice I'm always open for advice um, this is a learning journey for me come on in, in. good boy and um, everything I'm doing is kind of trial and error trial and error research and growth <laughs> my growth so I'm learning everything you know I learning everything as I go on I never um, had grown any of these kind of plants before but yeah look I'm gonna have to very gently um, move these and protect them from the snails it's funny that there's none here because they're not being eaten here but as soon as I move them um, and put them elsewhere where I normally put my plants that are growing an army of snails come along and um, disrupt their growing um, but they seem to like it under here but again I can't have there's at least 30 growing so we're going to move some and um, see what else we can do with them if we can get them up to some decent sized plants um, who knows I can put them up for sale on my creative gardener channel <laughs> there we go so yeah that's the neem and that's the baby neem and it's gonna grow its potential to grow to 40 feet so I'm gonna leave that there and I look forward to um, hearing from you let me know how you're getting on have you grown neem are you trying to grow neem and um, take care